Hello students, welcome to today's online class. Um, at first, we write our today's topic and date, class 4, subject math. Our today's topic is geometry. And today's date is 22 August 2020. All right, uh, let's begin. In our this syllabus of half yearly examination, we have triangles in our syllabus. So today we will start about triangles. First of all, let's learn what are the types of triangles. So number one, how many triangles are there how many triangles are there based on sides and what are they? The answer is there are three types, three types of triangle based on sides. What are they? They are number one. Equilateral, equilateral, equilateral triangle. Number two, isosceles triangle. Number three, scalene triangle. So, what is scale equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle means the angle equilateral triangle means the triangle whose all three sides are equal. That means if all three sides are equal, equal, then it is called equilateral triangle. What is isosceles triangle? If two sides are equal, two sides are equal, if two sides of a triangle are equal, then it is called isosceles triangle. And the scalene triangle, what is scalene triangle? If no sides are equal, no sides are equal, then it is called scalene triangle. All right. And there are another three types of triangle based on angles. How many triangles? based on angles. The answer is there are also three types of there are three types of triangle based on angles. Number one acute triangle acute triangle if all the angles of a triangle is less than 90 degree then it is called acute triangle so this is less than 90 degree all angles are less than 90 degree then it is called acute triangle then another type obtuse triangle so what is obtuse triangle if only one angle if only one angle is one angle is greater than 90 degree if any angle any one angle is greater than 90 degree then it is called obtuse triangle and number three is right angle triangle right angled triangle right angle means 90 degree so if one angle is equal to 90 degree one angle is equal to 90 degree 
then it is called right angle triangle so there are three types of triangle based on angles one angle is less than 90 degree if each and every angle is less than 90 degree then it is called acute triangle if only one angle is greater than 90 degree then it is called obtuse triangle and if only one angle is 90 degree exactly equal to 90 degree then it is called right angle triangle today we will learn two competency based question of these types uh, you have uh, you will be given some length then you have to draw with that specific length all right let's begin at first question number one here I have written quest questions for you let's read the question at first question number one a draw an equilateral triangle whose length of each side is 5 cm that means you have to draw a triangle where all sides will be exactly 5 cm and it is it will be called equilateral triangle because all sides are same length 5 cm will be the length then you have to draw this triangle and question number b write three characteristics of it all right let's begin to draw this triangle will be need a roller which has centimeter in one side one centimeter two centimeter so up to five centimeter and it will be needed a pencil and also a compass all right so at first we write question number a Question number A, let's start writing or drawing. At first, we will draw a line whose length is 5 cm. So, you have to start from 0, not from 1. You have to start from 0 and you will, be, uh, you will take 5 cm as the length. So, from 0 to 5. So, this is 5 cm. At first, we draw this a line here this is the question so given you have to take a length which has 5 centimeter now we are starting drawing so in the middle of the page you draw a 5 centimeter length again a 5 centimeter length again and you write 5 centimeter say this is a and b the two point two end points are A and B. Now you take the compass and then take the measurement, take the measurement of this 5 centimeter exactly by pencil and compass. You just take the measurement of 5 centimeter. Then pointing on A at first, pointing on A you draw an arc arc means a part of a circle a small part of a circle is called arc so at first you draw an arc in one side of this line ab and another side you draw another arc pointing on pointing on b you draw another arc all right now you will get a new point of intersection say c this is called C. Now, if we join this point A and this point C, and B and C will get our required triangle. So, this is our equilateral triangle. You have to join these points carefully because if you, if the points
better and better so you have to practice more than once now you can write figure a b c is required isosceles triangle this is the isosceles triangle now we draw we write three characteristics of it now we write, uh, write three characteristics of it at first we can write two sides are equal two sides are equal because this is an isosceles triangle and these two sides this means this is 4 cm and this is also 4 cm but this bottom side is 5 cm so you can write two sides are equal number two you can write two angles are equal two angles are equal we cannot know the name of this uh, the measurement of this angle but this angle and this angle these two angles are equal and number three you can uh, write sum of three angles or sum of all angles sum of three angles is equal to 180 degree which completes our drawing so your hw will be this two question competency based question one and two will be your homework so which is our uh, today's topic so I hope uh, you understand very well. I hope uh, we will meet again in the next class. Till then, goodbye.